you know, it's really a community effort. You know, this is a community park. It's supposed to bring people together and, you know, get to know your neighbors and help the community as a whole. And so I think. At 546 on a Tuesday, all new for you this morning, a local community is working to help some of our neighbors as we get deeper into this cold western New York winter. If you're walking around Buffalo through People's Park on Main Street, you might notice a fence covered in bags full of mittens and gloves. This is all part of an effort to help people in Buffalo who might be struggling this winter. And Taylor Epps is showing us how this project came to be and how its Buffalo strong spirit is spreading throughout western New York. We're used to cold winters in western New York. It's all about wearing layers and bundling up, covering your hands and face. You know, it's often overlooked that, you know, when you're walking around, your hands get cold, you put them in your pockets. But if you don't have gloves at all, it can make managing the weather difficult and dangerous for so many. But a community group is here to help. We thought that this was a really nice way to help people in the community who needed warm clothing during winter. Mara Montante is the director of People's Park on Main Street in Buffalo, a community park known for bringing people together and hosting reading groups during the summer and putting up this mitten fence during the winter months. People can come and leave items. Some people knit things and leave them on the fence and then people come by and what they need, they take what they need. You know, it's just kind of like a give what you can and take if you need. This is their third year putting things up on the fence. Estimated we probably give out about 400 items a year. And this year she's noticed things are flying off the fence faster than usual. But at the same time, they're seeing more donations than ever. So I come by about every week, but I often come by and I see lots of things that I know I haven't hung up. It just makes me feel like, you know, it's really a community effort. You know, this is a community park. It's supposed to bring people together. She thinks the high need for winter items items and the extra help from the community are both effects of the pandemic. I'm hoping that this, you know, feels kind of a, a necessary thing that people need during the winter. After this year's positive response, they're considering bringing a second People's Park and Mitten Fence to Niagara Falls in the future. Hopefully more people can come and donate and if you need something, you can come and stop by and get what you need. And as you can see right now, the mitten fence is full of lots of warm winter items that people can use. And like she mentioned, a lot of people will knit things, put nice messages, and even some snacks in the bags here. And the mitten fence will be here on Main Street through March. And if you want to stop by and donate, just make sure it's in one of these plastic bags. Just stop by and put it right up on the fence like this. And it is chilly out here right now, so if you do need something, you can just stop by, no questions asked. Really, for now, we're live in Buffalo. Taylor up 7 Eye Witness News. Oh, Taylor, you know, I just love that idea. And, Ed, it's something as simple as a hat and mittens, right? Yeah, and we've seen it in other places, too, not just in People's Park on Main Street in Buffalo, but we've seen it in years past at Fireman's Park. I've seen some on Niagara Street. It's really just the spirit of Western New York, right? We say it's the city of good neighbors, and it's when... A lot of us, or a lot of you, step up and do something good and something out of your way for other neighbors who might be in need. That's the spirit of Western New York.